realize one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Talking about 
how important it is to have a pastor, to have a leader in our life. So I'm honored to be on once again on this first of November, almost the end of another year. Man, almost, man, you're talking right. Almost that I can't believe that we're almost done with 2018. Man, it seems like we were just at the church having an amazing service at all white, praying for people, prophesying, laying hands, allowing God to use us. And now here we are at the end of another year, almost back at the same place again. But we are we are thanking God for all the miracles and signs and wonders that happened this year because it's been an amazing year, man, amazing year. Ups and downs, but definitely more good than bad. Glory to God. So we're thankful for that. So listen, Pastor Forrest, as we get right into this, we're going to jump right into this with our these next uh, uh, maybe 20 minutes that we have. Uh, I want to just really jump into this, and I want to find, I want to I want to teach the people and tell the people uh, why is it important to have a pastor? Why is it important to have a pastor? Now, Pastor Forrest, we, we just finished up. A um, our, our our radio uh, show uh, a few weeks ago dealing with uh, fathers and sons, but now I think it's important that we home in on the importance of having a pastor. Why is it so important that we have a pastor? Because for us, because for us, many of many people these days, uh, not only do they not go to church, but they don't even believe in a pastor anymore. Many people are dogging the pastors out. Talking about the pastors, uh, they're not they're not respecting who they are and what they what, what God has placed them here for. And so, Pastor Forrest, I want you to help us tonight as me and you tag team on this thing and figure out why is it so important that that everyone have a pastor. Talk to us, Pastor Forrest. Well, Pastor Gibson, uh, I can kind of understand a lot of people that have had issues. Uh, trusting in our leaders and pastors, and uh, a lot of them are not being uh, good examples uh, why, and but we want to let the world know that there are good leaders. There are some good pastors out here. There are yes, some sir. good teachers out here, and there are some out here that's really concerned about the people of God. The Bible says, how can you hear without the preacher? How can the preacher preach except he's been sent? How beautiful are the people of those that preach the gospel of the good news. There are some good leaders out here. And then the word also says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So a lot of times we, we think there are no good leaders, but there are good leaders. There are good teachers out here. And it's very important that we need a covering. It's very important that we need leaders in our life. It's very important that we should be able to have someone that we can talk to, someone that we can defy in. It's good to be able to find somebody that we can trust. It's very good to have a spiritual mother or father in our life because guess what? We need a leader. We as pastors, we have pastors because guess what? We need somebody to talk to. We need somebody that we can talk to, confide in. We need a spiritual leader. A lot of folks be talking about how a pastor have a pastor because we need someone too. So it's so important that pastors, we need a pastor in our lives. We need a leader. We need a teacher. We need someone for guidance. That's the that's the important part. We need guidance. And who can guide us? Then our leader. So it's very important that we do need a pastor. We do need someone that we can talk to. Uh and one thing I, I I've I've learned, Pastor Gibson, that a lot of times people think that uh, uh there's a lot of shady pastors. They only out for their money. But let me tell you something. There are some good pastors that ain't even thinking about your pocket. They are thinking about your soul That's salvation. Right. They're right. concerned about you. They are good leaders because guess what? When you're in the hospital, you're going to want your pastor leader to come and see about you, pray with you. You want somebody to be able to encourage you, someone to counsel you, someone to lift you up. So it's always good to have – I don't know about nobody else, but I need a pastor. So it's good to have a pastor that we can lead and talk to. So a pastor is very important in our lives. What you say, Pastor Gibson? Man, I totally agree with you 100%. Pastor Ford, I believe that, that the reason and the, and the very significant point of having a pastor and why everyone needs a pastor is that something that you just hit on. Uh, there's going to come a point in our, li- our life where we will have trouble. 
there are coming at a time in our life where we will need somebody else. I told our Bible study last night, I don't care who you are, you're going to get to a point where you're going to need somebody else. You could be as independent yes, as you think you are. You could be as great as you want to be but your wonderful self. But you're going to need somebody in your life. And here it is, the pastor is is is, is picked by God. For the Bible declares in in, in uh, 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 uh uh, in the Word of God, and I, I'm thinking of it right now, and uh, my my mind skipped it right now. I uh, uh, da, 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 uh, I'll get it in a minute. But in the in the Word of God, it tells us that God chooses pastors after His own heart. He chooses pastors. So, in other words, we don't choose ourselves; God chooses us. And once He yeah. chooses us, He chooses us so that we can be pastors and we can do the things that He has called us to do for the people, for the sheep. And so it's important because once God has chosen us, uh, Jeremiah, uh, uh, not Jeremiah. I almost, I was almost there. I almost had it. Uh, I almost had it. But I'm going to get in a minute because I feel God. Uh, I'm telling you. It's very important that we have pastors because when you have a pastor, it's someone who you can go to, someone you can lean and depend on for prayer, someone who will come to you when you're in the hospital, someone who will do your eulogy, your family eulogy, pray over your children, pray over you, speak into your life, speak encouragement, strength to you. Even someone, let's be honest, there are pastors that have have opened their pocketbook. We're talking about people that have the more money. No, that's have to open their pocketbook for their sheep and bless their sheep when they are in turmoil or uh, in turmoil or in a bad situation, going through trials and tribulations financially. That pastor has been there, so we know that it's very important that we have pastors. Let's talk, Pastor Forrest. Let's talk. As we talk about it, we, we see now that it's very important to have pastors. Let, let's name some of the things that as we as we dealt with some of the things that. Uh, that, that pastors are used for, pastors are good at pastors specialize in. Can you think of something that pastors really don't get credit in, but they do a lot of? Can you think of something that a pastor, you don't get a lot of credit, we don't really make that a part of his duty, but the people pull on him for certain things. They pull on him. Can you think of something that you've been pulled on as a pastor that may not have been a part of what people think that you do, but you found yourself doing? Well, one of the things they do, they call in the middle of the night. <laughs> they will yes, call sir. you, and yes, we, as, as a pastor and a leader, we have to make ourselves available to the people. And a lot of times people don't understand that a pastor's job is 24 hours, seven days a week. And if they call us in the middle of the night, we get up and we answer that phone, we go to the hospital, we go wherever we need to go, we go. They When they pull on us, that's what a good pastor would do. Uh, go to the nursing home, go to the hospital. Uh, if they just want to talk in the middle of the night a lot of times, we wake up and we got to be that ear. We got to pray with them. So I, we, we, a lot of times pastors' job go unrecognized. And I would say, Pastor, yes, that you are a good pastor because I've seen you work. I've seen you give. I've seen you do. You went over and beyond. I mean, I've watched you how you have given. And, I mean, a lot of times you don't even get your money back. But you give it from your heart. You be a blessing to the people. You're going out to different places and doing. And that's why people don't understand when you have a good pastor, you got you got some jewels there. And so we praise God for and, yeah. and, and that's why it's so important that we got to know that we do need leadership. We need guidance. We need a pastor. Just like you say, uh, for funerals or weddings or, you know, don't just. We are pastors, so everybody needs somebody to lean on. It's just like we as kids. Our kids, we run to our parents. So when we get older, we got to have somebody we got to run to, amen, in our pastors. Come on, come on, come on. We run to them, and, 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 and what I love about is that when you find a good leader and a good pastor, and, and, and you know what? I, I love this about God. He, he, he said he would give us pastors of his own heart. So he will give us a good pastor, a good leader, and he will lead us to the person. But guess what? Just because you might see the pastor might not be perfect, that don't mean he's not a good pastor. Because a lot of times Come people on. look at talk, the pastor, talk, oh, talk he, done, he, done, he done messed up because we saw him hug somebody wrong. Baby, let me tell you something. 
the devil will play tricks on you. We got to learn, if God gives us a good leader, you got to learn to say, you know what? I pastor have flaws just like everybody else. But guess what? If God gave you that pastor, love on that pastor. Pray for your pastor. Even if you think that he's not doing what he's supposed to do, pray for him. You keep him lifted before the Lord. The same way the pastor prays for you, you should be paying for the pastor. Because guess what? We all need prayer. Amen. And and, and the last the no, other sir. point I want to bring out the other point I want to bring out is when when the children of Israel, people don't look at it, but God gave them a pastor. Because guess what? They was in turmoil in Egypt. They was going through, so God sent them a leader, sent them somebody that, that led yes, them out of Egypt. God took them out. Even when they complained, even the church folks today, they complain, complain, complain. Moses still stood there and said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He was yes, a sir. pastor to the people. He was a teacher to the people. And, and even when they acted up, he, he got angry, but guess what? He still loved on the people. He still preached to the people. He still talked to people. So guess what? There are pastors in the Bible that have showed good leadership, and guess what? They are good pastors today. What do you think, Pastor? Yes, sir. Well, let me say this. So, you know, many times when people uh, come on, they give you accolades or, or – or, or, you know, say good things about you. Many people jump to say something great but not really meaning it. But I want to say that, Pastor Forge, you have been an amazing pastor as well because all the things that you have attributed to me, I've seen you do as well. I've seen you come out your pocket and bless people. I've seen you do funerals and then get paid for it. I've seen you do weddings and then get a dime for it. I've seen you go to hospitals after you come from work, working at 9 to 5, and come to hospital. Matter of fact, I've been to some of the hospital visits with you, to people homes who have called you while we were while while you may have been in the in the middle of, of, of dining or in the middle of, of having a good time. But you don't you, you have to stop right what you're doing, right where you are and say, Hey, we'll hold this off and let's go and take care of our member, one who loves us, one who trusts in us. And see that's one of the things that people don't know. That sometimes and we don't get credit for this, Pastor Forrest, but there's times where we are having a good time. We're in the bed. We're with our wife. We're having a great time. We're with our family. And someone will call us. They don't know what we're doing. They don't care what we're doing, but they need us, and we have to stop. They don't ever ask the question, were you doing anything? They never ask the question, or can we come? They just want us to come, and we do that. And that is so important because – I believe that when you, it's important that you have a pastor because your pastor is assigned to you. You are assigned to your pastor. That means when you talked about that, and it's in Jeremiah. Thank you. I did. I said Jeremiah. My mind was going crazy earlier with it, but I believe it's Jeremiah three, Jeremiah three and fifteen. Glory to God. God, the Bible says the Holy Ghost gives you remembrance. But as Jeremiah three and fifteen, it says He'll give you pastor according according to His heart. And so when He gives you a a pastor according to His heart, that means that He will make sure that that pastor is assigned to you and have the heart for those people. Let me help you. Yes, Every yes, pastor yes. is not your pastor. Oh, let me back that up. Every pastor <laughs> is not your pastor. You got to yeah. make sure that you're in the right house. Many people are just going to churches for different times. They're going because they got a great sound. They're going because the band is good, the choir is the praise dancers, the praise team, the praise leader. But they don't understand that you go there because there is a pastor that's assigned to you. Watch this. And they have a, they have a gift and account for your soul. And it's so important yeah. Yeah. that we know that and that we don't just go into churches because everybody else is running there. Make sure you're going to the place where God has led you because my sheep knows my voice. My voice. Glory to God. And a stranger they would not follow. And, and come here on, again, come it's, on. Talk a, to it. Talk it's, to it's it. important. It's important to have good leadership. And we don't pick pastors because our friend picked a pastor. We don't pick or follow folks because they say that you got to get to know and make sure that's where God sent you. You got to make sure that that's your leader because a lot of times yes, people join churches because they follow in their friends and they talk about the, or the boyfriend or girlfriend. They go on because of them, but when they break up, they gone. They gone. They done left the church. But if, if God that's sent you there, I don't care right. if you break up or whatever happened, you're going to stay right there because you're going to say, this is my pastor, this is my church. I ain't going nowhere. Whether we don't be together or not, 
I'm going to stay right here because God gave me a good leader. He gave me a good teacher. A lot of times you'll be running from church to church. I'm trying to find my pastor, and God done already gave him to you, and you steady going somewhere else instead of being up under your leader. And guess what? There's a lot of wolves out here. We'll be thinking that I preach it just because he sounds good or preach good, but that that. does not mean that that's your preacher. That don't mean that's your pastor. God said, here again, you just quoted that scripture. He will give us pastors according to his heart. God will give it to us. But guess what? When he give it to us, don't get no attitude when that pastor tell you you're wrong. Because a lot of times we are run and leave Ooh, church or leave that pastor because the pastor started telling you your wrongdoing. A good pastor gonna tell you when you're right. A good pastor gonna tell you when you're wrong. Because guess what? The boy said, "Whom he love, he chastised." So guess what? When a you know you got a good pastor because the pastor gonna tell you, "Say, hey, that that ain't right. That ain't of God." Hey, come on, together. come on, we talking right. right. together. Right. Amen. Because if you take the pastor, because he always prophesied to tell you, "I see money coming and I see this." That don't mean that's your pastor. But a good pastor is going to tell you, hey, stop holdmongering. Stop lying. Stop cheating. He gonna, the pastor is going to lead you in the right direction. You want to make sure that I'd rather have somebody that lead me right than have somebody lead me to the fire. Because guess what? I don't want to go to hell, but if I'm under the wrong teacher, guess what? I'm going to hell. So I want to make sure I'm under the right teacher, under the right leadership. So that's why it's so important to make sure that God gave you that man or woman of God as your leader, your teacher, your pastor, and when they give it to you, stay right there. Don't run. Because if you study the scriptures again, scripture talks about when they, 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 they when the people they wanted them a, a they wanted a king. And God God gave them one. They gave them Saul. And they've been complaining ever since. If they had to just wait right. on That's God, right. God would send them the leader that they want that they need, not what they want. But he'll give you what you need for that season. So that what do you think on that, Pastor? My goodness, man, that's good stuff. Listen, and you know what? I just you man, you made me think of something that I think I wanna I wanna make this may make a lot of people mad, but I wanna put something out there. Here's what I think, Pastor Forrest. Mm-hmm. I think we should stop looking for churches and look for a pastor. I just so. <laughs> you ought to say that again. We need, that. we need to stop looking for churches because you can go to a church and they will have all the church things together. They will have the best ushers. They can have the best praise teams. They can have the best, I mean, the best catchers and, and prophets and, and all kinds of stuff, the best band. I mean, the band can be second to none. But if that pastor is not anointed to pastor you, you're mm-hmm. in the wrong place. I don't care yeah. how great it was. I don't care how much you did. I don't care how much you enjoyed it. If that pastor is not assigned to you, you're going to be miserable throughout your Christian life. You're going to be upset. Yes, sir. We need to stop for and see, I, I, I want to emphasize that, Pastor, because what's happening is, People are going to churches, and, they, and they'll stop back to my church and say, oh, well, I like the pastor. He was amazing, but I didn't like the band. Oh, the pastor was so great, but I didn't like the praise team. Oh, the pastor, I mean, he had a word. That word hit me right where I was. I felt like he was in my living room last night when I was dealing with what I was dealing with, but I don't like the ushers. You're not there for the ushers. You're not there exactly. for the praise team. You're not there for the band. Because you need someone that is true and that God has assigned to you to come. Because remember, with that, I can't get away from this. When God chooses that pastor of the own heart, that means that pastor has to be the pastor who is going to be the one who imparts into you and get you to your next level. Not that day. Exactly. Not that praise team. Come on. Go over to God. I feel something here. And I'm starting to feel excited and, and, and about this thing. Yeah, because I see our time is winding up, but it, it is so true that. God would give you the right leader because when you get a right leader, one that really loves you, he's going to tell you the truth. A real leader is going to make sure that they tell you what you need. And, and guess what? I mean, you can have a good band, you can have a good urge, you can have a good board, good choir, but if you don't have a good leader, all you got is a good band, a good leader. But guess what? You still need that leader. 
you still go when the choir get through singing, urge still get through, urge the band get through. What you gonna do afterwards? So you need that leader, you need that guidance, right. you need that word, you need that chief teacher. Go back here again with the word. Say, how can you heal without the preacher? So you got to make sure that God sent you somewhere where they give you a good word, give you a good teacher, and give you what you need. Somebody that's going to love on you for who you are and where you are in your life. Because guess what? When we come to a leader, a good leader going to love you where you at right now. And then they're going to groom right. you to where you need to be at. That's what a good leader will do. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. A good that leader again. will love you where you at in your life. And then they will groom you to what you need to be in your life. So that's what a good leader, Woo! a good teacher would do. They won't look My down on you. Goodness. They won't judge you. They won't put you down. But they're going to love on you, and they're going to do what they need to do to put you to the next level in your life. That's what a good leader would do. A good leader ain't going to get jealous of you because you might got a few dollars more than him. A good leader ain't looking at your money. But a good leader was concerned about your soul. That's what a good leader, he's concerned about where God wants you to be in your life. So, man, this is good tonight. This is very good tonight. Oh, my goodness, man. This has been really – I want to – and I, I know our time is rolling up. Listen, I want to hear something that you said. You said a good leader is going to tell you the truth. Yes. That cannot be overlooked. Yes, a sir. good leader will tell you the truth. That means, watch this, there's times where you're not going to like what he got to say. <laughs> yes. You're yes. not going to yes. like what he going to say to you or what she going to say to you. You're not going to like it because sometimes it hurts. Us. Come on. Sometimes it hurts. It hurts to say, hey, that ain't the right one for you. Yeah, I know I know you like you got money, but the way he talking to you, the way he touching on you and grabbing on you and, and doing you and cheating on you, that ain't the right one. I know you're in love yeah. with it, but you need to go. And hold on, if you ain't going to like that. They gonna like when you tell them, "Hey, listen, I, I I know I know you you know you got some stuff going on, and you want to go out of town, and and you want to go on vacation, but did you pay your tithes first? Oh, they ain't gonna hear that <laughs> type of story. Oh they no, no, no you get in trouble with that one. <laughs> they ain't gonna hear that. They gonna they don't wanna hear when you tell them, "Hey, listen, I know these are your children, but you know that's not the right thing for them to be doing. You know they mm-hmm. shouldn't be doing that. Oh, they yeah, will curse yeah, you out. Yeah. They will get upset." So you need you got to make sure that first of all, you got someone that's not just a yes yes man, but he's going to tell you what's the truth, the unadulterated truth. So help him God, and when you got somebody that's going to tell you the truth, you've already hit the mark where you need to be. Because guess what? Whatever you got going on, he gonna put you straight because you stay the task for it. He gonna love you where you are, but he gonna build yes. you up to get you where you need to be. Exactly. Oh, God. You yes. have the last words, Pastor Forrest. Yes, sir. Uh, once again, this is uh, tonight has been a very, very good topic tonight. I got to give it to you, uh, Mr. President, Pastor Gibson. You always come in with good subjects to talk about tonight, how, in, how important it is to have a pastor in your life, to have a good leader in your life. So I want to say to the people of God that's listening to us tonight, if you don't have a leader, get your leader, get your pastor. Get you somebody that can groom you, somebody that can love on you, somebody that can push you, somebody that can motivate you, somebody that will tell you when you're wrong and tell you when you're right. Get you a good teacher. Get you a good preacher. Because here again, we all need a pastor. We all need a leader. And we all need somebody to feed us. Because guess what? Everybody can't feed us. But everybody, but if you got a good leader, he's going to take care of you. God bless you. I love you guys with the love of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to just leave you with this right here. You just said it. I got to say it. Watch this, Times Four. I'm not to piggyback off you. Everybody can't feed us, but everybody needs to be fed. God yes. bless you. Get you a good leader. Love you guys. You have been talking with Pastor Dr. Forrest and Pastor Dr. Andrew Gibson from Word About the Church and Pastor Forrest on Northern Word and Praise Ministry in Chicago, Illinois. This is the Word, and we love you. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you.